joining my soccer universe. Well, round of 16 is over. And if you look at the nations, it's kind of a one-sided thing. All four English teams made it to the next round. Maybe thankfully of, uh, to the fact that three of them had to play Bundesliga teams. So yeah, and one pulled a huge upset. Um, I think the big game we are. Uh, See, I'm, I'm finally wearing out my Liverpool jersey. This is the first time since I have my two Liverpool jerseys that Liverpool is actually playing well. That actually I'm proud of them. Ever since I got them, I almost cursed them because they started faltering quite some. Uh, which I honestly I didn't expect. And ever since the loss to City, although that loss, they played great in that loss. I think they could have taken a lot of positives out of that one, but no. Uh, they got nervous and yeah, some results just didn't go, go the way. But yesterday, uh, it was not the game that I was watching. I was watching the barcelona Lyon game and I will talk a little bit more about that later. But uh, since for me, the Bayern-Liverpool matchup is the more weighty one. Uh, start with that one. Um, took Liverpool a while to get going. I remember, I mean, since I couldn't watch it, I actually, and I usually don't like to do it, but I knew I won't be able to really sleep well if I don't uh, watch at least how, how that game is going, because uh, I didn't want to stay up an additional hour to see the highlights. That, that just was not worth it. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I looked and I saw the statistics about after 20 minutes or so. And yeah, it was still goal, goalless, and I didn't like it because Bayern seemingly had a lot of possession, had even more chances on goal. Uh, I know the possession doesn't uh, tell you a lot, but I actually thought that Bayern will, be, will come out all storming. It was not really the case. Uh, Yes, Liverpool controlled the game by giving Bayern the possession, which is in a way a weird thing to say, but uh, they just needed to strike uh, at the right moment. And strike they did, and mostly thanks to a pretty bad mistake by Neuer. It was not like one of those super obvious goalkeeping mistakes, but you know, he came out way too early. Um, I can see that he tried to block the Sané's shot, but he, he uh, completely misjudged the CSC situation because there was a defender there and that way he's out of, out of goal, Sané just needs to turn and put it in, in, in the back and for some reason, at least on the page that I, I was watching, Van Dijk was credited with an assist probably because he played the last pass, but to me this was in a way uh, individual effort by not Sane, Mane. I keep Sadio Mane and Leroy Sane, those two, because um, I talk about this often, I mix up. It's Sadio Mane, and I should know him. He played in Austria for quite a while. So, yeah, that was uh, the breakthrough for Liverpool. And uh, they actually got uh, at least one more chance, but then Bayern finally came back and got a little bit of momentum going and after a nice uh, move over Gnabry, Lewandowski is kind of free in the center but uh, it is actually Joel Matip who puts the ball into the net for an own goal. Uh, he has been playing for ages for uh, lo long ago for Schalke never won at Bayern and now he makes an own goal, it must feel familiar. Playing, if you're a German team, playing in Munich against Bayern is one of those things. Uh, how did Peter Stöger say, yeah, it's a little bit like visiting the dentist. Uh, very frequently it hurts or sometimes it goes well. So yeah, uh, that's the attitude when talking about playing Bayern Munich and I guess many are familiar and honestly with the form that Bayern Munich was in of late I actually expected them uh, taking Liverpool 
and maybe not taking Liverpool apart, but uh, really dominating Liverpool. But it never happened. It never materialized. And Liverpool did it actually super smart by um, you know giving them possession, but then really being clinical and getting things going and with uh, quick attacks um, get to Bayern. And then. They had a brief period of, dom of dominance where they got two corners and from one corner uh, Van Dijk just rises above everyone else and puts the ball for the 2-1 into the net. Uh, so it was 1-1 at halftime, Van Dijk makes it 2-1 at that point. Uh, I know it was still early, in the, it, well, there was still some time to go but I really had the feeling uh, that might do it because now Bayern needs again two goals. It must have been a blow. Um, again, I didn't see the game, but if I would have seen the game, I probably would have felt much better. But uh, knowing Bayern, I always thought this is uh, uh, made for them, that they just get those two goals uh, somehow. But when I saw the highlights, there was nothing ever coming. And it was uh, in many ways more a poor performance of Bayern than it was a great performance by Liverpool. Uh, and that, I think, is remarkable. Uh, that Bayern Munich just falls in a way apart at home when uh, you are, yes you play a top team of, uh, from England uh, and yes maybe you are aging so but you also have a lot of experience and I don't think it's that that super aging anymore I mean they try to get the switch but then yeah 2-1 for Liverpool and then uh, another move uh, via Salah and uh, Mane I got the name right. Mane makes the 3-1 and seals the deal for Liverpool and completes the sweep of German teams. English sweep of German teams. Uh, I honestly thought that Dortmund Tottenham will be uh, going the other way. Uh, that should have been a close one. I also thought that this will be a close one, which It wasn't even that close. Uh, it's actually to me quite surprising. But then on the other side, if you look at, uh, at, at the results, yes, Schalke is a no, no, a good team, but City put seven past them. Um, that tells you something about the gap between the Bundesliga uh, already. If Tottenham can beat the second place team in Dortmund, uh, rather. Comfortably. I mean, yes, the, always the first half, Dortmund was the better team and could have gotten something, but when it counted, um, uh, Tottenham got the goals. And now Liverpool, which in this was surely was the best matchup by name in this uh, round of 6, 6, 16, is eliminating Bayern and pretty much deservedly so. So yeah, we have four English teams. I said it before. Uh, I'm not that happy about that, to be honest, because I always think it's better if there are a few more nations. But also we might get at least one English duel, which is quite likely uh, in the quarters, which however you choose it, it might be an interesting one. Maybe Spurs should not get. Spurs should not play any of the other English teams, I think. That would be maybe the least interesting. But if the three are from up north play each other, however you slice and dice, it's a juicy matchup. So uh, I'm actually hoping for something like that happening. A Manchester Derby would be uh, great, I think. But I can also see anything else. I mean, Liverpool United, Liverpool City, uh, I think it will all be great matchups. Uh, the other game, Barcelona Lyon. Um, to tell you how much I expected this to be a nail biter, I decided I'm actually gonna do because there was something in the back of my head for work. Actually, gonna have the laptop, have the game on, but you know, try try to get some work done. Uh, a little bit of head start for today. Um, and yeah, I, it started the game. As I expected, um, Arthur and Suarez, Luis Suarez had absolutely great games. Uh, especially Luis Suarez, Suarez in the first half, he was a constant, uh, hard-working threat for Leon. And it's 
both goals in the first half came through him. The first one was a penalty where I'm sorry, the defender, if you go uh, into a tackle in the box against Suarez that way, yes, he's going to look for the cover, but this is just uh, such a stupid foul. Uh, yes, and you're slower, but I think if Suarez would go on, yes, he can bring the cross in, but no. I think it would have been the better option there to try to get the block there. Uh, so penalty in the 15th minute, uh, it has been reviewed, I didn't quite un uh, understand why and it took that long. Um, and Messi chips it into goal. Uh, then extended period of, do of dominance and a wonderful second goal where Arthur plays the pass out to Suarez who in one move uh, moves past the defenders of Leon has the vision to lay it across the box uh, to Coutinho who just has to pull into goal and it was pretty clear that the team was very happy to give it to Coutinho because I have the feeling they really want to get Coutinho playing well again they know he has a rough patch but they want to get him because he has the abilities to really play well so yeah the fans are maybe not happy with him yesterday they were and Barcelona easily could have made it three before halftime uh, or even right after halftime where Messi had a huge chance which was uh, saved where I was wondering hmm, is Barcelona not toying a little bit too much and that's exactly the thought that came back because starting around the 55th suddenly Lyon who had a minor chance in the first and suddenly Lyon started to thread a little bit there was one shot that didn't miss the goal by much i think it was by Depay. and shortly thereafter i think it was a cor corner kick that barcelona defended or a free kick that uh, barcelona defended kind of poorly uh also trying a little bit i mean i think it was busquets who got hit in the head and he was more busy with himself holding his forehead than actually defending and so uh it, the ball fell to Toussart. i think that was his name uh, who stops it with, with his chest, moves just a little inch back and then uh, puts it into the net. And suddenly Barcelona were really nervous. It took about 15 minutes and then, uh, for those 15 minutes the game was actually uh, really interesting. Uh, that's when I stopped working. <laughs> I mean before I got the gist of the game, I saw the chances for Barcelona, but uh, the moment that this goal was scored, I actually at first expected Barcelona to uh, react positively to it and actually try to go for the third goal, but no, it was actually Lyon. Uh, one important thing that I missed, and this is important I guess for the third goal, that the Lyon goalkeeper, I think Lopez was his name, uh, got injured in the first half and when he went off he was quite upset about it. Uh, but you know, this is a risk that... You I, I, I don't know how fit he was. I mean, he, he didn't look to be walking very smoothly anymore. So yeah, he was um, yeah, taken care of on, on the pitch and it got a six minute added on time in the first half, which yeah, uh, put the two games a little bit out of sync. Meaning the other, the Bayern Liverpool Barcelona, but not that it really matters a lot. But why is it important? Because, you know, after a period where Barcelona seemed really shaky and for some reason uh, Depay, who according to statistics hasn't won any uh, challenge, uh, suddenly is taken off, someone else put on, but uh, it was really all going, it was nervous for Barcelona to say it the least. Uh, I think a goal for Lyon there, I'm not sure if that would have put Lyon through, but there was a, it would have made the game even more interesting because then Barcelona really needed, needed to come. But anyway, uh, who do you trust uh, in those situations when it's kind of iffy where you know that a goal for you will probably seal the deal? Well, of course, you're superstar Messi and Messi came through. Uh, in a, he got the ball and did a typical Messi move. Moves it, has it actually on, uh, I think it's left foot. Makes an a turn that takes out two 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 defenders and puts it on goal. It was not a super strong shot, but the goalkeeper just got a little bit the hand on it and it rolls into the net. 
and that is the 3-1 for Barcelona and basically seals the deal and then uh, to really pull it out of uh, Leon's hand, this was I think a 75th, 76th minute, some, some, somewhere there, um, then Leon really needed to risk more, uh, but you know, you couldn't get more offensive uh, than you already were. And so um, they tried, but were called, called on the counter. It was five Barca players against four Leon players. Messi having the ball from the from uh, their own half, sprinting, and they're all with him. And I'm I'm already thinking, um, what is he doing? Because he's drifting a little bit to his right away from goal. But it was all well planned because Gerard Piquet made a sprint almost the entire length of the field, and Messi puts it right into his path to slot it home and make it 4-1 for Barcelona. This was a really well played counter attack um, where you could see Messi's vision. He had full, he was fully aware that it is Piquet on the other end and plays it perfectly weighted for him that he can put it in. And then Usman Dembele who came on for Coutinho uh, makes it even 5-1 again after pass of Messi um, to seal the deal. Now, of course, Everyone, the comparison is immediately Messi Ronaldo, and I gotta say, I have a feeling. I don't want to say that the draw will get rigged. But I, I was wrong with my feelings before because I said I have, a, I have a feeling that Real Madrid will play Barcelona at some point. No, we won't get that one because we're, uh, Real Madrid messed up, and Barcelona is the only Spanish team left in the competition. Uh, that's also uh, kind of unexpected, but you know. You would expect Real Madrid to go through to, through to Amsterdam. It is okay. It is okay if uh, Bars if Atletico uh, cannot get uh, past Juventus at all. It looked all right. But you know, Messi, Ronaldo. Well, I, I want to get it. I really think that the draw will speed out uh, Juventus Barcelona matchup. Uh, if not in this round, in the semi final. Where it would be better, I, I don't necessarily want to see this in the quarters. Um, but yeah, I got that feeling. And Juventus is the team that Barcelona doesn't like to play, at least in a home and away series. In the final, yes, <laughs> they won there. But in a home and away, no. I don't think that they're very comfortable with that one because there are many instances where they haven't done well there. Yeah, uh, so Messi Ronaldo comparison. Ronaldo, three goals against a team that uh, admittedly he likes to score a lot, but is very defensively minded and probably a much better team than Lyon. I am just throwing this out there now. Uh, no, nothing against Lyon. I mean, they had a great Champions League season. They got four points from Manchester City. That is a uh, that is something. Um, so, but Ronaldo has three goals and Messi has two goals and two assists. One goal was a penalty, so that should only count half. Uh, the assist that he made on the four-one uh, was wonderful. I just think that you know when it's five-one, that was maybe a little bit too high because uh, Leon was in there. i It's so hard to judge them because they are meanwhile so different players. Messi is your classic playmaker. Ronaldo became a, a poacher. I mean, you could not see Ronaldo for a good half hour in the game on Tuesday evening, and then he scores the goal. Uh, I shouldn't say half hour, but you know, it was at least 20 minutes where I felt he hasn't touched the ball. And then he scores the goal, he scores another goal, and you know, that's where you get uh, all the Ronaldo is the greatest player in the world things. Messi, on the other hand, yes, it was maybe a little bit of a weak, weak opponent, but uh, he again, he orchestrates the attacking force of Barcelona. Last point, I said it before, I'll say it again, I do not understand why Leo had to play orange at the camp now, I think the white that work just fine, even if it has the top red, the red on the shoulder, because Barcelona is blue. I do not understand that. Uh, same thing for the reverse. Uh, there were some really weird color matchups this time around. Home kits would have worked perfectly. Anyway, let, let, let me know what you thought. 
about the games yesterday. Uh, let me know which games you watched, what you thought about those. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.